So let's go ahead and do a collision detection on this part program to see what sort of errors that the software will generate for us. We're going to select View, Path Lines, and we're going to select Operation, Graphics Display Window, Collision Detection. Now if we find that this animation is going too fast or too slow, we can go and hit F5 and go under Setup and select the Animation tab and there's a slider that allows us to control the speed now. You'll notice that the probe will flash red anytime that it detects a collision with either the clamp, the fixture, or the part. Another thing that we'll see, because we've modeled the machine, if there are any moves that are programmed outside the travel limits of the machine, then PCDMIS will display those as well. So this is an example of the error message that you'll see when you try to drive the probe outside the limits of the machine. So once you've sorted out any crashes or out of volume errors, then uh, PCDMIS is going to display a list called the collision list showing you the features that caused a crash in your part program. If you select any of the features in the list, it will display the path in red where the collision has occurred. There's a couple of ways you can address any collisions in your part program. One way is to click on the path line where the collision has occurred PCDMIS will display a dialog that allows you to move the path line at any increment value that you specify. For instance, I'm going to move up in the Z direction a little bit and select Apply. And now you can see this particular path line has been adjusted for that move. The other way we can control these path lines is inside the clearance cube status. If we select the Clearance Cube icon and select the Status tab, you'll notice that we have two columns labeled Start and End. And these columns control the direction in which the probe will go into the feature and retract from the feature. And if you need to adjust any of these, simply right mouse button click on the appropriate value and select Starting Ending Face and then we can adjust it to the axes that makes more sense for this particular feature. You can even turn it off for the feature as well. A third way to address any collisions is, to, is through the use of move points. If you left mouse button click on the digital readout window, a dialog appears that allows you to insert moves offset from the CAD offset from the feature, or you can even learn the move during the execution of the part program when you're online. This works especially well for clamps that you have not modeled in your holding fixture and you wish to program moves around those features.